Out-of-pocket expenses for healthcare is projected to increase over the next several years, which makes sense. That's just how it's been going, that healthcare expenses have gone up. Um, we're given the amount spent annually from 2015, which is our time zero, is expected to grow at a rate of this R of T. Okay, so we're given a rate. So we're given basically a derivative. This one's a little bit more complicated, and there's one like this in the homework where it's a derivative because they tell you it's a rate, but they don't label it as such. It's not called R prime. It's just called R, but that's okay. We know it's a derivative if we're given a rate of change. And this is measuring billions of dollars per year in year T. The national spending in 2015, our time zero, was $410 billion. So this is important. We're given that the initial amount at time zero, so if we plug in T equals zero, we should get $410 billion. So there is our C value. We're going to be solving an initial value problem, and we're given what the initial value is for this one. We're either given it in these word problems, or we have to do common sense to figure it out like we did with those Amazon packages. So the first part says, find an expression A of T that approximates the projected total spending. So we want to pay attention that these are just different letters. I think it makes it harder um, just in the sense that there's more to pay attention to, but it doesn't make the problem actually harder. It's still an initial value problem. We still have our same three steps, but we want to be careful of how we label these because normally our first step, we go from F prime to F and it's a little bit more obvious or with the Amazon one, we went from N prime to N, but this one, we're going to go from R and the total is A. So just different naming, but we're going to take the antiderivative in order to go from the rates of change to the total amount. And then we're going to find C, which is given to us in this one. We're given the initial value. And our last step is going to be to write the whole equation that we found. Okay, so let's do this. So first step, we want to find an expression A of T. So we're just going to be careful to label it correctly. A of T is the total spending, and that is going to be the antiderivative of the rate of spending, which is called R of T in this one. So we're going to do the antiderivative of the rate to find the total change. So we're going to do 1.1 T plus 16.89. And we have an antiderivative symbol, so we're going to do a DT in here, because with respect to time for this one. So now I'm going to just take the antiderivative as usual to find A of T. 1.1, I'm going to keep that and divide it by, we'll add 1 to the power, I would get 2. T to the 2. Antiderivative of 16.89 is going to be 16.89 T plus C. This one needs a plus C instead of an evaluation bar because there aren't any bounds on the integral. My next step is to figure out what C is. Is there an initial healthcare cost at time zero in 2015? Well, we already talked about this, but even if you missed it when you're reading the word problem set up on an exam or in WebAssign on this homework problem, you would think back, what's the initial time? Does it make sense that there were healthcare exp expenses? Yes. There are definitely out-of-pocket expenses that people paid beyond what their insurance covered in 2015. And the total of all those out-of-pocket expenses was $410 billion paid by the people. So C is $410. Another way of thinking about it is the amount, the total amount out-of-pocket at year zero was $410. So you can either write it as C equals, or if you like to use a point, it's totally up to you. I just am not fancy about it. I usually write C equals. There was initially $410 billion paid for out-of-pocket healthcare expenses. So my last step is to write my final equation. I'm going to simplify when I write it here. So 1.1 divided by 2 is just going to be 0. 0.55 T squared. Then I have plus 16.89 T plus my C value, the initial value is 410. So that when I plug in zero for 2015, I do get 410. So again, how you check an initial value is you take the derivative of it, make sure you get back to this right up here, and you can plug in A of zero to make sure you get 410 out for that initial value. You have two things to check. You take the derivative and plug in zero. But the next step says, what is the projected spending in 2021? It's not
saying how spending changing in 21, 2021. So it's not asking you to plug into the derivative. It's saying what is the projected spending as a total in 2021? If it's not asking for the rate of change, it's asking for the total here which just means we're going to use the equation we found. That's typically the next step. You find an equation, and then they have you plug into it to see what you get. So what is the T value here for 2021? Let's be careful. Count on your hands. If you have to, that's totally fine. 2015 is zero, so I make a zero with my fist. That's 2015. One is 16. 17 is two. 18 is three. 19 is T4. And then 20 is t equals 5, and 20, 21 is t equals 6. So definitely just count on your fingers. Start with making a fist for the 0 for 2015. Let's go back down here. So we're plugging in t equals 6 into our equation that we just found. That's usually the next step. First part, they ask about finding an equation, and the next step. Say, well, what happens when you plug into it? So we're doing a of 6. We're plugging into what we just found up here. And so we're doing 0.55 times 6 squared plus 16.89 times 6 plus 410. I'm plugging into the equation I found, and what I get is 531.14. And what is that measuring? Well, the units on it were billions. It was billions of dollars per year for the derivative, and each year is just in billions. So this is billion dollars that they spent on healthcare costs, out-of-pocket expenses in 2021. And does that make sense by the equation and the setup? Yes, we were told that it was projected to increase. So if I would have thought that C equaled zero and I didn't realize it was 410, I would get a number that was smaller than 2015 and I would know I was off. But it says healthcare expenses are increasing and in 2015 they were 410 and by 2021, six years later, they're 531 billion. So it went up a whole bunch. There's a lot of healthcare expenses being paid out of pocket. I'll close this uh, prediction here that they were going to increase and they did.